G'day, Ben here. In this Groove Your AB video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly build and view mobile interfaces for your Rockwell automation controllers. To do this, I'm going to need three things. Groove server for Windows, a tag server that connects to Allen Bradley PLCs, and my AB Compact Logics 5370 PLC. It's a simple three-step process. First, I'll import our tags from my PLC into my tag server. I'll be using Kepware's Kepserver EX installed on a Windows computer. Second, I'll add the tag server in Groove Build and import the tags. And third, I'll attach gadgets to those tags, then save and view the data in my desktop web browser and on my Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone. So if you're ready, let's get started. I'm going to remote desktop to a Windows 7 PC. I've already downloaded and installed Kepware's Kepserver EX free trial that will run with all features and drivers for two full hours, just like Groove Server for Windows. So together, it's the perfect way to trial all the steps in this video for free. Let's open up Kepserver's configurator. Now click on New Channel and give it a name. I'm going to call it Control Logics. From the drop down driver list, I'm going to choose Allen Bradley Control Logics Ethernet. But you know what? Before I move on, just take a look at all the other drivers supported. All of these systems are now compatible with Groove. And this means that while this video is covering AB PLCs connected to Groove, these three steps apply largely to anything on this list. Okay, I got a little excited there, but let's get back to work. Click on Next, and if you have more than one network interface card, be sure and select the one that the AB controller is on. Go ahead and select the defaults for all the remaining dialogues. Okay, now that the channel is created, let's go ahead and add a device. Click on Add Device, and let's give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it CL5370 for my PLC here. Select the device. The ID is the IP address. Accept the defaults on the next few dialogues. But on this dialog here, let's have Kepserver automatically create the tag database every time it starts up. And that way, if I add any new tags to my AB device, I can add them to Groove without having to type them in manually. So that's it. I'm done with step one. Now, let's automatically import those tags into Groove. I'm going to flip over and use the Mac now. Now I'm using my favourite browser, Chrome, but it could just as well be using any modern browser, like Safari on the Mac, or Internet Explorer running on Windows, or Firefox on Linux, or, well, anyway, you get the idea. Let's make sure, though, when you go into Groove, make sure you log in with admin rights. Okay, now let's switch to Groove Build by clicking on the gear icon and select Switch to Groove Build. Now click Configure, Devices and Tags. First, we have to add our tag server. I'm going to call it AB Tags. Next, I simply import the tags from that server by clicking on Import Tags. Boom! That's it. I'm done with step two. Now, the last step is the really fun part, building our page in Groove with no programming. First of all, click on the button gadget from the gadget palette and let's drag that over. Let's select the AB tags, then imported tags, then control logics, then the device, then global. There's our digital point. Click it and then click update gadget. Let's give the button a name. I'm going to call it LED and we can change the colors if we like. I'm going to go to red and that's it. We're done. So let's try it out. Click on file, save all changes and switch to groove view. Okay. Now you know me, if there's a button, I just have to click it. Yep, it works a ripper. Okay, so now let's hook up a gauge to a variable in the control logics. Go back to Groove and click on the gadget palette and let's select the tags tab this time. Drill down to the tag we want and when you highlight the tag, you can now select the gauge gadget. Drag that over and we're done. You know what, while we're here, let's throw an image onto the page as well. Select the image gadget, browse for the image, and that's it. Too easy. 
Okay, let's save the project and check it out. So here it is on my browser, but let's check it out on my Android smartphone. Yep, there we go. Looks and works just awesome. How easy is that? Kept server automatically imported all the tags from my AB PLC, and Groove automatically imported all the same tags. It was simple then to hook up those tags to gadgets, and don't forget, Groove automatically built the mobile pages while I built the desktop pages. We did not have to manually type out any tag names or write a single line of code. Groove your AB, it's as simple as one, two, three. For more information, check out Groove.com. Till next time, cheers mate.